My name is Lance Mountain. <laughs> there was a short period of time, uh, about 10 years ago, uh, through Robbie Jeffers and Richard Mulder. Uh, I was introduced to Frank Sinatra and Rode for Stussy for a minute. Um, and we have that, I've had that connection with them. Uh, and last year we did a co-op, uh, co like a, a plastic board, banana board, with Stussy, a limited like thing. And through that I did a shirt for them and then this opportunity opened up to come out here and do a show in conjunction with their 15th anniversary. And uh, I hadn't been out here for 10 years, so yeah, awesome opportunity. I started skating at 10, and in school, I basically, any project that I had to do, a poetry notebook or a any sort of school homework, it seemed that I was getting, trying to get by with doing some art or crafts related to skateboarding. <laughs> so everything I turned in was started being that. Um, and the imagery that I saw at that time in the early days of skateboarding was like just logos and a guy's name. And then the early art came from like West Humpston. Craig Stesick and uh, BCJ Court Johnson when uh, the Sword and Skull, the Ray Bones Rodriguez came out, it was just like, okay. Not having money as much, we'd make our own boards, we'd paint our own shirts, and try to pretend we're part of this skateboard culture. So that was the earliest influences. Um, a lot of it came from the magazines. And then uh, we started hanging out at the skate parks friends with Neil Blender. He was, and still is, just a real creative guy. Super creative. Our, we all came from a skate park called Whittier, and our group of guys were kind of the kind of quirky little art creative guys. In the early days of skateboarding, it rewarded the creative thinkers because it was still being pioneered and so if you look back at all, all the early skateboarders even in the way they skated they all had to come up with their own tricks so they were a creative type of person making up new tricks to do uh, and it wasn't really to the point of here are the tricks whoever does them ha higher or faster or bigger was the winner. It was who came up with something new. I don't take never grow up as not having responsibilities or whatever, but it's it's keeping that um, the way kids like the way you see the world when you're young. It's just magical. It's you have these dreams, and as you get older, you just let those dreams die, and you you know, and so. Yeah, this one's, I mean, that's like the, kind of like the name of it or whatever, so that's self-explanatory. 
that's whatever. Uh, John Humphreys shot a photo that I've always liked back in the Stussy days. I just thought, oh, it'd be cool to draw an S over it to make an icon. So, I mean, the imagery all came from that kind of, so then it turned into the little doughboy guy that kind of just by default has become this character that I keep doing because people know it. Stussy had just done um, a co-op with Gold Cup Banana Boards, which is through the, it's like my deal through the um, flip skateboards. So I was like, oh, shameless self-promotion, I'll do an art piece for that. <laughs> the photo I shot of Mark Gonzalez uh, for early Transworld, 80, Four, maybe 85 I'm not really sure um, it's a little photo of Gons when he was on Alva doing a bean plant over the channel at my house he was on Alva at the time but just to make it more recognizable I put little vision stickers here so I wouldn't know who it was even though he's on Alva this is a photo of Jay Adams I shot at it's actually at Supreme Bowl in LA um, the night, it was one of the nights of the Dogtown premiere. Backside thrust. And that's a photo of Dwayne Peters, a very classic photo. And uh, my intentions was to shoot a replica of it, so I was drawing from a photo I shot. I didn't. Uh, when my son was four, you know, kids all draw the same when they're four, basically, if you look at kids' drawings. I was going to do a graphic for myself from Pal. I don't know why. And everything started being very personal, so I just took some drawings my son did. During the firm days, 94 or whatever, I kind of ran out of his drawings. So I started pretending to draw like his style almost. So these actually were firm graphics. Yes, yeah, Ducey did a co-op with um, three logos or the three shirts, which was just the theme of the show, which is never, never, never give up, grow up. Then the logo shirt where it came from with the uh, John Humphreys photo, and then a, um, an illustrated version kind of this. So. time of skate career? Hmm. It's now. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Well, hopefully in a... Just when my knee heals up. <laughs> you know, there's always a special time. Th that time right... Heroes and these dreams and you're good and you're... You know you're good and you're learning all this stuff and you're becoming... People are going, ooh, whoa. That's a real cool time but I wouldn't trade it for today. Um, and, the, and at your height of your career, when everyone knows you, and that wasn't the funnest time for me, by any means. That wasn't the purpose, to get everyone to know you, and yeah, I've made it. People love me. <laughs> I see skateboarding today the same way I saw it when I was 10. Do I want to have a video part on a Nike video when I'm 50 and see what a 50 year old could do in a video? That's what I want to do. <laughs> Closing words. Never grow up. <laughs> 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 Broke it. <laughs>